Hello everybody and welcome to Ghost Runner. You've been cast down from Dharma City to the base district. You tried to stop the coup. You failed. I died. The Keymaster is your enemy and a tyrant. Time for the final assault. Saving humanity will take more than just killing the tyrant. It will require iron resolve and a single unified will. The key is turning. The shackles are coming free and the door open. In a week's time, in a week's time, we'll all have stepped outside. What was that guy doing? It means he wants to turn everyone into abominations. Oh. Replace half their bodies with her insane tech. Her creations are no longer human. Mara must be stopped. There's nothing to do. Why is there no elevator music? It's just running on the elevator. Or running around it. Well. I thought those were alive things. Top scientists, and I do mean the world. Many of Earth's brightest minds were brought here before the burst. Many more were on the way when the cataclysm occurred. For what purpose? To preserve their expertise. We couldn't save all humanity, but we could save the best of us. Oh, ooh, ooh, okay. Well, I assume they would have helped made this place, right? Unless it was strictly you. Nobody else involved. You got down on your hands and knees, and then just... What is this? Oh, fuck. Okay. Then we even need these, but okay. You're gonna shoot? Don't shoot. Da Just okay. Monsters. You killed a lot of people on your way here. Well, they got my way. That was collateral damage. Necessary evil. This here, it's mercy killing. Whatever you say. Can you imagine if there's one of those things in the vent? No. Try this way. Stuck. Let me up. I'm alive. You know what? You do my work. Can I kill that guy? Okay. Oh, that's another assault. Okay, I win. Such a waste. Each one of them could have contributed to the tower's future. Be a useful tool in the making of humanity's redemption. Well, you know what? Why don't you just burn the tower down? Everyone's an instrument to something greater. Fuck them. Their master. An ideal they hold dear. Even their own ambition. How come you didn't- oh, come on. You know, you seem like to be this really smart, intelligent being guy. How come if you die- or you didn't like make it so if you die, you had like a kill switch that would just destroy the whole building? That seems like something you would do, but you haven't done it.
Damn, I really wish I had one of these things. Hey, everybody. That works. Ah, oh, fuck me. Fuck. Me. Oh, damn it, I was gonna overload one of the robots. Is that it? Fuck. You gonna get anyone else? You're just gonna stand like an idiot. Is it over? No, you're someone else. What, what was I doing there? There we fucking go. I know you're here. You and your puppet. Which one's the puppet? How do you like my work? It took a lot of trial and error. But we're ready now. Nothing must go to waste. Even the martyrs of progress still have a purpose. Victims, not martyrs. And if this is progress, we should have never climbed down from the trees. Oh, what the fuck? What was that? Uh, can I just jump? Ah, <sighs> fuck. Yeah, go get him. Beautiful. Okay, now I kill. Fuck. Alright, do that again, please. No, oh, you killed him. Shit. So with that guy, do you have to like find the real one? Is not the worst of Mara's tortures. Their minds are even more disfigured than their bodies. But why would she do this? It's just a side effect. She doesn't care about their sanity, only about efficiency. But the human mind cannot what the survive in a body so far removed from its original form. What about your mind? His mind is a uh, weirdo. What was that? Oh my fucking god. Yeah, you can't even see. I got that one.
Got that one, I guess. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Nailed it. Tell me something, monster. Do you think you are him? Do you believe it? Oh, I know you can hear me. You talking to me? You, then, you are not Adam. Oh, you're talking to you're an abomination that he can't fear before he died. Before she killed him. Fuck. Before she killed him. Flawed as he was. You're far worse. Not a shred of conscience. No empathy. No soul. Ah, fuck. No. Oh, come the fuck on. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. No. Which way am I supposed to go now? gonna be fun <laughs> oh come on I keep doing that oh wait oh fuck wrong button I'll probably die again anyway doesn't matter so far oh, yep I want to use this on one of the glowing guys. Or the teleporting guys. Yeah, I did it. Is it true? What? That I have no soul? Ask a philosopher if you can manage to find one. About Adam. If you're death, not me. So are you just like a copy of Adam? What the fuck? Why did you protect Sector 5? Why risk your precious pawn instead of getting to me as soon as possible? Unless... It wasn't you who wanted to save them, but your puppet. It's got a will of its own now. Did you add to... No reason to listen to her prattle all. She's just trying to sidetrack you again. Whoa. Oh. 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 Okay. So wait, does she not know I am a uh, in full control? Or like a fully aware ghost runner? Are they all dead? Oh, you guys. Fuck. There we go. You're not him. Of course I am. Who else would I be? An AI. I copy a file. Is the copy any different than the original? He was no file. You're starting to sound you're starting to sound like her. Let's focus on the task at hand. We'll discuss this later. You're not in control, are you? You must talk to your tool. Convince him to do what you can. Don't try to silence me again. Let him listen. He has ears. I should know. I made them. Do not listen to <laughs> her. It's nothing but a diversion. Have you told him anything at all? About your plan? About why he exists? How Adam 
Yeah, you're my new enemy, though. Okay. Yeah, big whoop. He betrayed you. Who saw that coming? Okay. Am I at the core yet? Things you wouldn't believe. 24 minutes, 66 death. Yay, nothing found. Ugh, I'm kind of getting lost in the story here. They're explaining too much while I'm, my mind's busy playing the game. Since before the burst, I supervised First Sun Seraph Corporation and then Dharma Tower from here. My office was just around the corner. This is where you were conceived, so to speak. The design yeah. came together here at my private workshop. Who am I? You are the perfect fusion of code and flesh. You are the next step. Who, not what? Was I originally somebody? Am I a cyborg? No, stop. Immune to your corruption and no longer depended on your prison. Uh, this way. It's so quiet. Imagine if the entire game was like this with no music. Our future lies outside. There will be a price to pay here as well, naturally. But we'll pay it. A price indeed. Humanity. Oh, kill Mora. Full circle. So, hey, do you even know what drives you, puppet? What the end game is? You have done nothing wrong, puppet, but I can't let you be. As long as that demon in your head exists, you are a threat to everything I've built. How am I supposed to fight this? Focus, just which or not. This is an opponent you cannot afford to take lightly. Humanity shall endure without you. Can I just come up here? Nope. What was that? Oh, switching it up now, huh? Now, when do I get to attack her? Oh. Aha. What's on your arms? Oh God, the floor is electrifying now. How dare you? That could have been bad. Ah, 
I think she got it too. Oh, it actually checkpoints me. Thank you. There we go. Uh, you got one more health bar, but still th four more, three more arms. One, two, three. Yep, th four more. What's going on? Okay. What am I doing? Oh, they're moving. Shit. Are you gonna hit me? Nope. Come on, hit me. Resist him, not me. Did I do it? I should have taken your head. Mindless tool. I win. Congratulations. You fulfilled your purpose. Mankind's greatest enemy is dead. Why am I rebooting? We can now proceed to the next stage of my plan. No. Allow me to do the honors. Nope. What are you doing? Okay. Architect. Adam. Whatever the fuck you want to be called. Not struggle, DR-74. Yeah, I'm gonna destroy you. Your body, but I don't need the rest of you anymore. What? The rebels broke you, made you independent, and I was too weak to take back control. Too fractured, but you strengthened me, connected the remaining cybervoid nodes so I could grow. And now, it's time to take back what's mine. Bring peace back to the tower. Morrow is right about you. Morrow is wrong. Humanity must be protected, not just from the outside world, but from itself as well. And to protect fully, I need full control. No. You want to enslave everyone? I want to unify Shit. them. I want to unify them. There will only be one purpose. Iron resolve and a single will. Everyone will eat, sleep, breathe. And breed according to the needs of the tower. No more violence, no more conflict, no more corruption. Yeah, no one wants that. Okay, what's all this? This is why she killed Adam. This was his plan. I had doubts. Until I left my body behind, I should be thanking her. Now stop resisting. No. Oh, oh boy. Oh, what? Did these hear? Did these kill you? Yes. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay. Whew. There's still more. The oh. you that makes Is that you? you? Defy me. You will be the first what? member of the new order of things. You will be served your purpose. Oh, are these moving? They are. Instrument of my will. Now okay, come on. Now you can become a true part of me. Now you can become a true oh. part of me. I don't know what that was happening behind me. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, what is this now? Okay. Get there. Okay. My neck's still hurting. Why are you so selfish? This is how you can serve humanity. These imbeciles ruined you. Took a, took a work of art 
and made it into a piece of junk. You're a piece of junk. By an illusion of sentience. Sorry to disappoint. Okay. Is this your brain? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How was that? Ah. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my god, that much longer! Oh, that was it! There we go! There we go! There we go! Okay. This ain't good, this ain't good. Okay. Woo. Whoa. I'm coming for you. You can't be trying to. If you destroy me, the remaining Cyber Void system will shut down. You won't survive without them. You won't survive without me. No, no, I will not be deleted by a mere tool. I forbid you, Ghost Runner. I deny. My name is Jack. Goodbye. Maybe I'll become a human again. <laughs> Architect. Shell core files missing. Cyberpoint mainframe will now shut down. Program terminated. What was all that? The monster completed. Is there anything else? Is that it? The world has ended. But we lived on. The tower is our home. The only one we've ever known. The ones who built it wanted to control our fate. To shape us like we were their playthings. They wanted to manipulate our minds and our bodies. Be our gods. But they overreached. It took strength, determination, and sacrifice. But we prevailed. The ghosts of the old world are gone. We're on our own. It won't be easy. But for the first time in a long time, we can make our own future. Little by little, step by step, we'll find our way. And we all have one man to thank for. The man who faced his own creators and proved them wrong. The man who made a choice when he was told he had none. The Ghost Runner. So he survived. Okay, that's the Ghost Runner. That was a short game. Not like super short, but it wasn't too long of a game. It was maybe six hours. 
Uh, I enjoyed it. I liked it. It was fun. Um, boy, that story. Here's the thing. I missed out on a lot of portions of the story just because I was busy trying to parkour and kill dudes and not listen to the story. My brain can only work with one thing. But I'm sure it was interesting. I picked, I'm, I'm piecing it together a bit by bit. So the world ended. The world, the apocalypse came, the world got destroyed. Then this dude, Adam, the architect, he made this tower so everyone can live and thrive in it. One of his leading scientists or some higher up, Mara, helped create ghost runners, created a lot of the weird tech you see in this game. And she killed Adam because she wanted to make abominations. She wanted to, I guess, experiment even more and more with her science and future or venture out into the real world. Whereas Adam, he wanted to control the ghost runner and I guess keep running the tower and making it weird. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird story, but it was a fun game, fun gameplay, beautiful designs, great designing, the character models, the lights, the music, all of it. I loved it. Uh, what, what company? All in games? Have they done anything? Have I ever played anything else they did? I gotta look this, look this up. Uh, one more level, 3D Realms, Slipgate Teamwork. They're the developers. Publishers were all in, all in, all in games. Uh, all right, one more, one more level. Have they made anything? Or what have they made? They've made Ghost Runner. <laughs> oh. uh, Deadlings. Never heard of it. God's Trigger. Never heard of it. Warlocks vs. Shadows. Okay, so they have a variety of games. <laughs> but uh yeah, this definitely put them on the map put them on the map. For me at least. Who are the other people that worked on this? 3D Realms? Did they actually like have a big part in this? Uh, looks like a lot of computer games. Prey. These, these people probably worked on a lot of games, but they weren't probably the main developer. They did like Prey, Duke Nukem. Uh, secret agent. <laughs> Max Payne. Yeah, I'm sure these developers are like helpers. Or maybe they fully made it these games? I don't even know. In their game section, uh, Ghost Runner's not on it. One more level worked with 3D Realms. Okay, so I guess they co-created. Co uh, publishers were all in games and 505. Okay. Well, yep. Uh, yeah, get on those guys. I'd like to see more games like this. I doubt they'd make a sequel or any follow-up, maybe DLC. I don't know. The one, yeah, of course, you know, I had issues with the game. One, one hit. I get it. I would really appreciate it if there's like settings, like difficulties, like the one hit mode or get like a couple hits in. But my God, it's just so fast paced and you you have to be perfect every time. Uh, and also 
I said earlier with trying to play and listen to the story at once. It's a bit confusing for me, at least I'm sure some people with cohesive brains can piece it together. And that was a somewhat short credits. Only a few minutes. What are the other achievements in this game? He's difficult. Complete level without dying, audio logs, story items, sword collection, collectible. Kill X enemies. Kill three enemies blank. Three enemies surge. Block warnings five times in a row. Uh, block projectiles five times in a row. Fill up your C SCP so that there are no empty slots left. Oh, I think I almost did that. There was like one left. Uh, use two different abilities within 10 seconds. Kill a sniper without getting near him. How do you do that? You have to overload him? Overlord? Improvise adapt overrun. Uh, three sluggers with blank while they're in the air. 20 enemies in a row without dying. Five enemies with your special abilities. Only protected by a beacon shield. Wait, can you kill people while they were shielded with your abilities? Damn, I didn't know that. Use dash, hold one slide, and gap chamber within the next seconds. Okay. Was there even like a difficulty mode? Or was is it just the only one? I don't even know. Good amount of levels. They, some of them were like very short. Like some of them you could do in under 10 minutes. Some of them last half an hour. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's rank this game. It deserves it. I'll give it a real ranking. So if you don't know, I rank games based on 10 points, uh, five categories each consisting of two points each. Those categories are design, gameplay, story, worth the money, and funness. Uh, first up, design. I thought the game was beautiful. The design was unique and awesome. I love the futuristic, like, cyber cyberpunk aesthetic to it. The music was awesome. The neon lights were great. Uh... Enemy types were awesome. The The design of characters were awesome. Mara, Adam, he was just a dude, but <laughs> I like, guess like the AI component of him. Uh, design, I'll give it a two out of two. I loved it. It was great. It was so unique and I'd like to see more of it. The gameplay. The gameplay was great. Yeah, you're parkouring, you were slashing, you had cool abilities. You had a grappling hook and it was really fast paced, which was awesome. The only setback was I wish you had more than one hit before you died. Or maybe, you know, gives like some more checkpoints throughout like boss fights. Uh, a lot of rinse and repeat with like going to certain rooms, clearing out enemies, continuing on. But it's like, you know, you're running up the tower. What are you going to expect? Uh, gameplay. It was awesome. I'll give it a two. I liked it. Story. So from what I could piece together, uh, apocalypse happened. They made this dude Adam made a tower so people can live in it. So they don't have to worry about whatever happened outside. I'm sure there are collectibles saying what happens or what happened outside. Then his partner, coworker, whoever she was, Mara killed him and wanted to create monsters. So she can explore outside, I think. And then Adam wanted to betray the ghost runner who was about to kill Mara. But then got sent back down. Got rebuilt. Memory wipes. Became sentient, basically. And then uh, killed Mara. Adam betrayed him. Adam was about to betray him. Ghost runner stopped Adam. And then the, whoever Zoe's squadron was, the climbers, they rebelled and are now ruling the tower, I guess, or are working towards it. And also, as I said many times, it's not good when you can't focus on gameplay and story at once, when you're trying to run around and kill people, but there's also dialogue and exposi exposition going on. Story, I'll give it one. You know, it had its purpose. It was there. I couldn't really listen to it because I was too busy killing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll give it a one. 
Next up, worth the money. This game was 30 bucks, I want to say. Yeah, it was 30 bucks. Uh, about six hour campaign. Could we play it? It'd be really cool if they added like a uh, challenge maps or something. And if those were free, that'd be cool. Uh, 30 bucks, like 10 hours. Like, you'd probably get 10 hours if you're trying to complete the game. Yeah, I'll say it was worth it. I didn't really encounter any bugs or crashes or anything. It was actually pretty well made. At least for me it was. Uh, yeah, worth it. I'll, I'll give it a 10. I'll give it a 2. Not really any bugs that I noticed. And get at least 10 hours. Maybe more if you just want to play around and kill people. Yeah, next up, Funness. It was fun, but I also really raged <laughs> at certain points. There are just... There's probably full-on, like, minutes of me just sitting here in silence, just, like, focusing, trying to not die. I don't like how it's a one-hit, one-kill. I really wish there was at least a setting for, like, maybe two or three hits. Health bar. But I get that this kind of game. It's what you're getting from it. Uh, I had fun running around killing people. But then I also had a tough time running around killing people. Uh, funnest I'll give a one. It was fun, but I, I had difficulty. And that means we have an 8 out of 10 game. Pretty good. Really good game. Yep, I think that's going to do it for the video, the series. I don't know if there's going to be DLC or anything. I should look that up. Anything planned afterwards? We are planning DLC for Ghost Runner, but we have no set date on when this DLC will be live. And that was a few days ago. Okay, so who knows what they'll add. Maybe new maps and a new story. Maybe a new Ghost Runner. Who knows? But uh, until then, thank you all for watching. Be sure to down below. Leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.